Hey guys, welcome to PCN's channel. Um, so I finally decided to put big box launch box big box on my GPD Win Max. Had to invest in a bigger memory card, so I went from like a two five six to a five hundred or five twelve gig. Uh, so I've done that. Spent, <laughs> spent a couple of days downloading all the movies for some reason. Whenever I copied them across, I was having problems, so I decided to do it fresh. So this is a combination of the premium product that launch box sell called big box. Um, and in conjunction with Big Box, I'm using a service provided by Emu Movies to give me all the HD movies. So, um, so um, like my gaming, my gaming laptop and my gaming desktop, because the screens I'm using with them are 16 by 9. Most of the themes work fine on them, and um, on the WinMax because it's 1610, some of the themes are a bit temperamental. So I've, I've just gone with this is the default theme that you get. So this isn't anything special. Um, I just wanted to showcase it uh, as I as I first got it. Um, the other thing as well, I, I'm using the Bezel projects. So a big shout out to those guys. Absolutely great. So um, for example, now if I was to run a game, um, okay, let's let's go and run Shinobi. So it should give me okay, it should give me bezels. Uh, which fill up the side of the screen, but they are designed for a 16 by 9 uh, screen. So this is 16 by 10. So I've had to adjust it a little bit, which you can, um, which some of the bezel will be cut out because it's not designed for that. But this is really, really good. It's very, very easy to set up. A little bit time consuming. Uh, it can be. So, um, yeah. Okay, that. I'm press, okay, that's. Yeah, so. Yeah, this is really really good um not really gonna not really gonna play games here or anything okay okay so let's get out of there anyway so it's gonna take us into retro watch when we close it um and then you can either exit retro watch a quick way of doing it is just double tap escape on your keyboard um so yeah this is this is really good so we've got our arcade games we've got our two six hundred games so if we go in there we'll get like full videos Oh, uh, <laughs> that looks like E.T. there, Alien Greed, yeah? So let's, let's see what number two look like there. Okay, so Greedy Aliens. Um, Atari 2600 was one of the first consoles that I did play uh, as a kid, even before I was gaming. It's what the adults were kind of gaming. It was like cutting-edge technology for them back then. But it's just so nice to have it all on, um, just all of my Winmax, you know? Just uh, just kind of got it on there. I think all together, the, the ROMs... Um, and uh, all the media takes over 300 gig for at least what I've got. Obviously, you can go a lot bigger. Uh, I've gone for like most full sets for the 8 to 16 bit. Uh, then after that, I've been a little selective with, with what I wanted. And so as you can see, it's just really, really nice. So for example, it should have, if it's all gone to plan, uh, it should have like the manuals as well. Okay, view manual. Let's see if the manual's there. There you go. Look, so... It's actually, I don't know if this is from, um, whether this is something that I've got gotten from Emu Movies or if this is something that launch uh, box includes. So if, if you do know, do let me know in the comments. Either way, you know, as I've gone for the, the full package, lifetime memberships, uh, I've got them. And, and because I, I, I like emulation, I'm uh, really looking forward to getting my uh, Mr. FPGA so I can kind of move into simulation uh, more than emulation that i'm really really looking forward to unfortunately the time i decided to buy it uh they all sold out uh, but yeah this is this is launch box big box i can only say great things about it um i am i am probably going to put it to 16 by 9 anyway uh when i do run retro arch and i'll do some more videos only because they they fit better on a screen uh on on most screens than 1610 but as i was running this on the win max i wanted to show the correct aspect ratio um, so look, Captain Planet, who remembers that man? He had like five rings. Um, I guess he was ahead of his time now because there's a lot of Captain Planets around these days. Um, so, uh, like Game Boy, so it, like, so okay, big box in conjunction with uh, Retro. So let's put Fist of the North Star because really, I remember that was the first beat em up I got on the black and white Game Boy. And it was, it was, I don't think it was that great, but it was the only game that we had. So, just for curiosity first, okay, uh, we haven't got we haven't got manuals there. Okay, cool. So it hasn't got manuals for Game Boy or some Game Boy games. Oh, I remember that cartridge, I haven't seen it. Okay, so that's not... 
Okay, so I need to do a little bit of tweaking with that. It will, it will run. Let me see. If I open RetroArch, we'll be able to do it from this. Obviously, I, I need to tweak it. So what you need to do is, you've got your uh, launch box. You need to point it to what core you want it to play on. Uh, which obviously I've just literally set this up. So uh, apologies for that. But I wanted to have a look at Fist of the North Star, just so I could show you some of the shaders that you can use uh so the shaders are with retroarch sorry guys if i am all over the place and i've assigned um a f uh, uh the shader to the gambit core so now what we should now get oh no we haven't okay that's that's not what i expected apologies for that let's have a quick look uh shaders oh the shaders aren't on okay so let's see is it gonna nope okay let's go so you've got loads of choice of shaders in here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go so this is available on retroarch so if you are using retroarch i think it was uh uh was it game boy okay let's just try the game boy there we go so now we've got that um that green that green game boy screen now so <laughs> let's go Oh, okay, so normal. Okay, sorry, I'm forgetting the Nintendo buttons if you're around. So let's go Kenshiro. Um, so as you can see, look, the borders just, they look just spot on. Um, and you know, when you use like one, <laughs> one of these shaders, look, it's like a massive Game Boy screen, man. I absolutely love it. Oh, I can't believe, like, I've been ages playing this game, man. I absolutely absolutely love this game uh, <laughs> but looking at it now it just looks bad uh, you know I'm not, I'm not even sure if I actually bought this game I think this is one of them games that I ended up uh, swapping with my friend I can't remember if I gave him my DuckTales or something and uh, he let me have Fist of the North Star but you know, I do understand Fist of the North Star was, was big when we were little when we were uh, when we were in school I think it was the the manga most people in our kind of age it was the first manga most people in our age group watched um and it was it was absolutely brilliant we we loved fist of the north star um unfortunately after that someone had one called rotsuki doji part one and two legend of the overfilmed <laughs> yeah don't watch that that's 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 <laughs> it's just not the right thing to watch as, as school children um yeah definitely not for school kids and it's just very very twisted in in what it is uh, but okay, let's go back. So it'd be nice if the videos had the kind of green screen, but I haven't. Never mind. Um, so let's... Uh, okay, we've got our Game Boy Advance stuff here. Guys, we've got to kind of pick random games here, unless I can obviously think of something. Oh, you know what? Let's go. I love the Castlevania games, but they've all got a big introduction. So let's go. What's got the smallest introduction? They've all got long introductions. Uh, that's my favourite one. So let's let's go for that. Um but if you hopefully it will just launch and it it, it it will point to the right core. No, it hasn't. So I need to um I need to sort that out. Okay, so okay. Oh VBA, okay, will it work like that now? So I've pointed it to the emulator, then the core. Come on, okay, no. Right, so we can launch that from within RetroArch. Uh so apologies for that. Not really the best demonstration video, but I was so excited by the time I got everything done. I was like, okay, let's let's just try some stuff out. So obviously we've got, let's have a look at some GameCube videos. I know I definitely didn't set this up. So I'm selective about what I've got from, um, you know, like GameCube stuff. There's only a few I want. They're larger in space as well. So I'm only going to put stuff on if I want to play it. Um, I always have like Soul Calibur 2 on there. I just, I sometimes play it two player via Parsec. Uh, if you don't know about Parsec, check out Parsec Gaming. Very, very good. If you've got a decent internet connection, you can host stuff. Um, we've got Virtual Boy here. I've never really tried Virtual Boy. Uh, so yeah, this was uh, Nintendo's failed attempt at VR a long, long time ago. Uh, Dreamcast, one of my favourite consoles. Um, I've actually got a bigger Dreamcast from somewhere, from the, the Fightcade game. So I should just point it to that and I'll have all the games. Just need to put on a memory card now. Um, yeah, again, if you don't know about Fightcade 2, very, very good if you want to play like your fighting games online. Okay, we've got the Sega Genesis, so as we knew it, the Mega Drive. Oh, cool. Let's see. Okay, let's hope I've, I've got this pointing towards the correct core. 
uh, if not all they require some work okay that's that's decent that's right okay so I haven't got the borders on for this that's fine Oh, I remember this game in the arcade as well. Fantastic game. So let's, uh, let's have a quick look and turn the on-screen overlays on. Okay, so we have got them, but as you can see, look, they're for 69, so they're covering up the screen a little bit. So what you'll have to do, if you've got this on your WinMax and you, you want to play it on uh, 16, then so what you can do is go down to this option here. Uh, which is the, the third one after overlay preset and you can just move it out a little bit so but as you can see it cuts out some of the overlay uh, as it is it is designed for uh it is designed for a 16 9 ratio and not 16 10. um so you can you can have it if you want to play in 16 10 which to be honest you get you get more screen or um for uh for four by three games whoopsie um so it's better to play for them but for example if i'm doing my uh, youtube videos I, I tend to kind of play the 16 9 over 16 10 uh, so i might i might just go to that and, and lose, lose a little bit of real estate but then the quality of my youtube video would be better um uh, for playing it on that but i am i am really really i really really want to get my uh my mister so i can actually you know have a better quality um you know better quality of uh, or better accuracy should i say of the game wow this feels i just suck at this um but cool, there you go so, I've, I've, so where i've saved that i've saved this for the, the mega drive core so every time i load a game uh, let's try loading a different game so let's go to another mega drive game Okay, so let's go back one. Let's go to uh, Streets of Rage 2. So here we go. So hopefully, there you go. See, we've got the boards there and they're already, they're already configured. Uh, on 16 by 9, we would be able to see the whole thing, but... It still looks good on the screen, you know. It fills up those empty spaces. Uh, again, if it's, if if you don't like the borders, then uh, just get rid of them completely. Turn it off, and you've just got a four by three screen. Um, if you stretch the game to widescreen, and you're a subscriber of the channel, then please unsubscribe because that's just you can't do that. You can't you can't play these games um, that are meant supposed to be played uh, in four by three aspect ratios. In, in 16 by 9 and 1610 that's just oh that's just wrong they look they look horrible uh they all look stretched so don't don't do that man don't do that okay let's uh, let's have a look at something else so uh okay let's go Got a few PS2 games in there, but I know I definitely haven't set this, set this up, so we're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna try and run anything here. But let's, let's just watch a couple of videos. So got beautiful Joe one and two. Uh, I never finished number two. I really like number one. I thought, thought it was absolutely brilliant when it came out. Uh, Street Fighter Anniversary Collection because it's Street Fighter and it's, and it's got Hyper Street Fighter on there, uh, which I think has got like the music. You can pick the music from the video version. Uh, Soul Calibur three never quite played it, but I have that on there. It's something that's worth playing on Parsec from time to time. Um, again, Soul Calibur 2. I end up keeping that on there. Um, yeah, good, good, really good shoot 'em up. Um, yeah, nice graphics. Again, Contra, very, very difficult game, but very, very fun. Glad they made that. Um, a game the Street Fighter world has forgotten about, and for good reason. It's not very good, uh, but nonetheless, it's, I'll miss about on these games once in a while. Uh, so good to have on there and one of the best burnouts uh, so let's 
also um yeah what's oh P uh, pc engine or turbo graphics as as known uh in the states so we've got we've got okay okay weird okay should should really have videos there but maybe i thought videos for all of them so if, if it doesn't have videos it will just kind of play a picture okay what else have we got yeah, so PC Engine was cool. Um, obviously, like, we didn't have the Turbo Graphics officially launched in the UK. As far as I know, we didn't. Uh, so I had the PC Engine. And, and this game here, JJ and Jeff, no idea what it was called. My friend referred to it as Chan and Chan. And, uh, you know, I bought this. It was a kind of funnish, funnish platformer. Uh, another game that I really liked on this was Sun Sun 2. Uh, sort of Sun and Sun 2, maybe. Here we go, this game here, fantastic game. Uh, and we uh, wish I had a video running of it, but we haven't. But it, this was a really, really good game. Uh, I played like the translation after, so I've kind of found out half of what was going on. Um, what else? Okay, so that's that's generally a look. You know, if you want a nice front end for your emulation, um, if you're using your WinMax and, you, and you're kind of using or connecting it to a display with a hdmi cable and you want to play your retro stuff you know use this one thing i recommend in retro arch um when you do play it then use the run ahead feature it's very very good at reducing um input lag uh, very very good very good uh, in fact especially if you feel a bit of lag use it it works very very well uh, for playstation i've only got symphony and i i absolutely love this game uh whenever i get anything new i end up going back and emulating or playing Symphony of the Night if it does come out for it. Uh, right now I need to kind of play Metroid. Um, let's just change the theme for a second. So change the theme, go to views. And so the one I've got default, some of them they crash out a little bit. I know one that is good bar top, that doesn't really crash out. So let's have a look at that. Um, they'll just give you an idea. You know, so here you go. Now we've got a completely different theme. Um, I like this theme, I just don't like the fact that the videos kind of get cut out. So if I go into PlayStation, you'll see the videos running, but the left side of the screen is cutting out some of the video. This one looks absolutely fine, it actually looks very good. But for some of the other games, you'll see if I go here, uh, let's pick some games. So again, this looks all right, the Shinobi one looks okay, but it was some games where it will miss out part of the screen. Shadow Dancer looks okay as well. You can see like you're missing half the ninja there. Uh, okay, so some of these games, um, there you go, look, look at Street Fighter, like, part of the screen's missing. Now, if they were fighting on the other side, uh, you wouldn't be able to see the characters. Okay, there is actually an option in here to hide all the games that don't have videos. So a lot of, uh, like, the clone games you, you won't see, for example. See, I, I like this theme. I like, I like that the videos are big. I just don't like the fact that they're cut out. I wish if the whole video kind of fit. There you go. Look, here's an example of one. So you've got half of that video on that side, which, you know, you want to see the videos, really. Um, so that would be better if that video was on the right and, and the list wasn't covering anything up. You know, that, that's my big, big gripe with this. Um, you know, for some of the videos like this one, it's, it's cool. It looks, it looks good. Again, look, look at Samurai Sheldon, half speed missing, but it's down to you. You might, you may be okay with it. Um, if you know, if you're alright with it, let's see what it's like on, on the other consoles. Let's see what it's like on the Atari Lynx. So, oh, Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. I don't remember if that was any good or not, but that, that, see, again, that looks cool. Um, and you know, if you go onto the launch box forums, uh, if you're, if you know, if you're someone that's bought Big Box. There's lo loads of community generated themes um, that you can get on there that might not be necessarily, you, you may not necessarily be able to download uh, directly from Big Box itself. Um, this game was bad. Uh, so yeah, you, you can go ahead and do that. You can have like startup themes. Uh, on my on my other machines, I've got like the intro of Street Fighter, the two guys fighting. And it's quite funny. It's got like um, an old front end and it's got Big Box knocking it out. <laughs> so it's actually quite funny. Uh, Pit Fighter. Okay, this is... This was deemed a really bad game, like in the arcade, and I have to say, I kind of enjoyed it. Um, I, I can half see why people say it's bad, there it just weren't that much depth to it, but I don't know, it's it kind of okay. Wow, Raiden, I forgot that was out for uh, 
for the ST. Uh, my uncle, he's like a, he's a, uh, sorry, uh, a Lynx. Oh, forgive me, ST. He's a Lynx collector. He's literally got every game and he's got like four Lynxes, two big ones, two small ones. Uh, he, you know, he was adamant. He collected the whole thing. Um, and 64 here. I'm pretty sure the emulation here will be better than the emulation offered by the, you know, Nintendo, um, the Nintendo Online next tier service $50 which I think is expensive really um, for what you're getting maybe if you could keep the games and they release them you know and you could keep them after a subscription run out maybe there's some value in there but uh, I watched modern vin vintage games video and you know it doesn't look like it's worth it uh, but again if you're the average gamer and you're not into emulation you don't know the technology that's around it might be good for you but yeah this is um, this is launch box big box there's other front ends out there there's a few out there but i don't think there's any that are easier to use than uh, than this one here uh definitely my favorite for ease of use uh and you know put that together with like emu movies it's gonna go back to default now uh like i said some of the other ones they have issues and i think that's because of this the, the 16 by 10 display uh, so we'll go back so there you go you can change themes easily uh, go to it. What haven't we really looked at? Yeah, I think we've kind of covered most of it. Okay, so we've got this mode free Sega. To be honest, I don't even know what this was. I'm guessing it's a Sega arcade machine. Um, there's a game here that I really liked on the Master System. <laughs> so let's have a look at it. Yeah, here we go. The Ninja. Yeah, let's have a quick play of this actually, and then uh, then I'll wrap up the video there. Um, sorry, no, I haven't really covered it. Yeah, I'm just ranting on about this and just kind of showing it off. If you do have any questions. You know leave them in the comments i'll try and answer them um i'm not an expert on launch box but the point is you don't need to be an expert it's it's you know you're paying for a front end and the team are very very hard working and they're, they're very very approachable as well for example now um i, I had my full name on, on my license and i asked them look I'm, I'm doing youtube videos and streaming a little bit now would you change that to pc and, and literally within 10 minutes they've done it for me so uh you know it's, it's nice to have a team where you know, I bought a product, so you can you can buy the product. Uh, you can buy it right. That stone turns into a ninja. Never trust a stone in a game. Uh, you can buy the product and buy buy it on a subscription fee or something. I just bought the lifetime membership for this and Demi movies. It cost me, I think, a little bit over a hundred pounds, but I've definitely made use of it, and, and and I'll carry on making use of it. Uh, now, I did like this game. This was very cheap. This was one of the the card games for the master uh, master system, like kind of similar to uh, the PC Engine cards that you get. And it was very, very cheap. You know, it was like a pocket money game. You could get it for maybe six, seven pounds. The most you'd get it for was like 10 pounds. But the thing I really liked about this game, um, it had like two buttons. So one to fire in any direction and one just to fire straight up, which I thought was just very, very good for a game during that time. Um, again, like you can see, because of the 1610 display, we're missing some of the borders. So. You know, this is definitely the, the 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 bezels. The bezels are definitely made for 16.9. And you know, if you are and the, the bezel projects are free to use. I'll leave links for everything in the description. So, you know, if you just want to put your bezel projects into your MAME or your retro arch, you can do so. If you're playing them on uh, a 16.9 display, then yeah, you'll just profit straight away. Oh yeah, wow, power ups as well. So, kind of reminds me of that game. Uh, wow, okay, that SNK game, Ninja Commando, uh, but like a primitive early version of it but um yeah guys uh, okay let's just, just uh quick look here so if you quickly want to get out and go straight to launch box just press escape twice on your uh, on your keyboard and you're kind of out uh so let's go let's go there all right guys i think i think i'll end the video there i just wanted to kind of show off launch box big box running on um uh, on the win max um, so as usual guys if you uh, enjoy the content consider subscribing drop me a like if you like guys and until next time PCN out